Everyone likes a long wheelie, but while they might be good for developing your balance, in reality, there are very few situations that require an extended wheelie. There is a much greater need for the short, practical wheelie to get you over obstacles on the track. A common issue we hear is riders saying their bike isn't powerful enough, or it is too heavy, or they lack the physical strength to lift the front wheel up. Or they say the only way to wheelie their bike is by dropping the clutch. But in every case, it comes down to getting the technique right. Good technique means using your body weight and the bike's suspension to provide the lift. With good technique, you will need very little throttle and most importantly, you won't pick up a lot of speed. So the aim of the short practical wheelie is to lift the front wheel as quickly as possible with minimal throttle and very little increase in speed. Ideally, you should have the front wheel up to near the balance point before the bike has moved more than its own length. If you really struggle with these techniques, try using a kicker first, a stick, a rock or a little bump. See our video about using kickers here. We also believe it's critical to learn covering your rear brake as you learn to do wheelies. It takes a long time to automatically prevent your bike from flipping by touching that rear brake. See our video here for more information. Okay, the small stand-up wheelie. Make sure your foot is correctly placed to cover the rear brake. Jump on the foot pegs to compress the suspension. As the suspension rebounds, apply a small amount of throttle and a gentle pull on the handlebars. Even if the front wheel doesn't come up high, practice gently dabbing that rear brake every time to make it a natural instinct. If you have good clutch control and balance, try this technique from a standstill as well. The same principles apply for wheelies when sitting down, although it's harder to compress the suspension. Push down hard on the handlebars to compress the front forks, then apply throttle and clutch the moment the forks start to rebound. Remember the whole key of the small practical wheelie is to use as little power as possible, pick up as little speed as possible. You are using the bike's suspension and power to mostly lift the front end, not drive the bike forward. You can see with all these obstacles that a huge increase in speed is just going to make things more difficult. A handy trick for getting extra lift is to quickly dab the front brake just as you are weighting the foot pegs to compress the suspension. This not only reduces your speed further, but stores extra energy in the forks to lift the front wheel higher. In our coaching, Chris Birch said he often adds some rear brake as well, as this helps to compress the rear suspension too. A final note, as your wheelie technique comes together, it will also become important to be able to land your front wheel when and where you want for techniques like the double blip and punch method of crossing logs and other obstacles. Does all of this sound difficult? <laughs> well, it usually is. Many of us have to unlearn bad techniques such as relying on power and the timing can be really difficult at first. But keep practicing. We know from experience there is always that breakthrough moment when it all comes together and it opens the door to a whole pile of advanced enduro techniques.